news, 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 news. I was saying nudes the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> All right. Um, joining us, we're talking The Mandalorian. And we've just discovered that Othi is not very many episodes into it. Yeah, and we're not sure why. Are we live? Let's do it live. <laughs> um, all right, so this is the news. So there's a lot of news, uh, but the first thing I want to talk about before we go into that, so HBO Max basically said, hey, screw you, movie theaters. We're release, or excuse me, Warner Brothers said, screw you, movie theaters. We're going to release all of our movies simultaneously on HBO Max. And there's about nine pretty big flicks coming up in 2021 that – through HBO Max and the theaters, you can see. Now, there's been a bunch of pushback. The biggest person I see is Christopher Nolan's kind of fighting that. But he doesn't have a movie in that gambit. His already came out. So I'm not sure why he's really leading the charge. But have you guys heard about that? Do you think it's a good move on Warner Brothers' part? I read the article or the letter in response that the president of a and uh, and m Theaters – is that the name of it? It's been so long. AMC, gee, many Christmas. Um, AMC Theaters, I read the president's letter um, about, you know, how that's always been a partnership between the, the movie companies and, and the movie theaters and about how they feel betrayed. And, I mean, I don't know what recourse they have because what do you say? Well, now we're not going to show your movies either. And, you know, that's not going to solve anything. But they feel like, hey, you took this really bad situation and you made it as bad as you possibly could for us. Um, and uh, he was he was pretty uh, vocal about it, so I thought that was I thought that was um, I'd be curious okay. to see what happens. But, but here's the thing I don't understand on that, and I understand some of it, but some of it I don't understand. Like somebody like Screenland, you know, who's it's a very small theater and they're having very limited capacity and stuff. But all the AMC's aren't even open right now, right? You know, so. Does AMC feels like it's going to miss out on revenue because of this film coming out on TV at the same time? Because when the, the when the movie theaters open up, there's going to be plenty of big blockbuster films to come out to put people's butts in the seats. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't. I'm like, you're closed right now anyway. You like you cannot pull value from this film. It doesn't, yeah. you know. But it's talking well, about future movies, too, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's well, not like, like that they're releasing nine right now. It's nine throughout the year when the theaters are saying, we should be back open and running. You're yeah. going to undercut us. Yeah. Well, it's well like, obviously, like, HBO gave them a just uh, pulled up truckloads of money. But it's the same, it's the same company, right? HBO Max is owned by Is it owned theater. by Warner Brothers? Yeah, yeah. I think that's, yeah. So... Hey, how can we make HBO Max a subscription program that everybody wants? Oh, I know. Let's drop our movies only there. It's a smart play financially, but for sure. Yeah. Well, I know the three of us like to go to the movie theaters. Do you think this will change the landscape scape of movie theaters in 2021? Well, I think that landscape has already been changed. Right. I think I think it's going to be a slow return to, um, you know, 300 people going and sitting in a room together. Do you not think that if they put some blockbusters out right now and instead of showing them for four weeks, they showed them at eight weeks and they kept their capacity at 40%, 30%, that mm -hmm. people – I would go see movies. I'll wear a damn mask the whole time. I don't care. Yeah. I want to go to the theater and spend my money in a theater watching a movie, but there's just yeah. nothing to watch. And what, Bill and Ted's? Did I miss that one? You know? Yeah, anything that they have released to the to the the screen this year has just been something that kind of would have been well, nobody wants it. Let's go ahead and just release it. Right. You know, it's and a lot of indie films and stuff are are maybe getting more attention this year than they would have in at theaters. But I just don't understand the mindset. Right. Uh, a theater is selling a, a product. They're selling the experience of going and sitting in the theater with the popcorn and watching a good film. So, yeah. And that's the product that they're selling. They're not selling that the movie. specific film. Right. You know, so and I understand that they're scared that Disney and stuff are going to start doing it too. But I think people that want to go to the movies 
we're not going to the movies because man i gotta see that film i don't have right. patience for it to hit video we're going because we're having a night out at the movies but i think that there's two different types of people i think there's people like you that go there for the experience there's some that i just want to see that movie but if i can see it at home i'm going to do that i would i would say that it's probably a 50 50 split i love going to the movies i love it yeah i mean for i would imagine all three of us do <laughs> yeah yeah but what do you think are you throwing on this I, We're gonna get in trouble. This is like controversial shit. We're gonna get in trouble. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm afraid that this is it's gonna put a lot of like screen lands and the hangar and in, in Maryville. I love the hangar. Mm -hmm. uh, some of those theaters like that, I don't think they're gonna recover ever. I honestly don't, which is a shame because I love going to those little small places. Yeah. I don't even know if Alamo Draft House in Kansas City will stick around. I would love it too. They, they got some problems going on. There's a lot. And I think have you have you read any of the articles about the Kansas City Alamo Draft House? Yeah. No. Yeah. Hmm. It's not looking good. Yeah, I mean, so they had they've got they've had some real management issues at that place, I think is is what yeah. it boils down to, which doesn't mean that the Alamo Draft House franchise is evil. No. I think they've just made some questionable hiring decisions at that particular one. Yeah. And it kind of when you it, it sounds like they're running a bar and not a theater, right? It's all the same drama you get at bars but it's at a theater because that's kind of what the Alamo Draft House feels like. I've already decided that if I win the lottery, I'm buying that Alamo Draft House, so oh, it'll good, be fine. Good. I still love to see movies there, and I'm yeah, still going to go see movies there. Yeah, my favorite. All right, so we'll switch gears a little bit. And this is kind of just, I thought it was a funny story. Did you guys hear or listen to Tom Cruise's freak out last night or yesterday? No. Yes. Been, it's been everywhere. So basically uh, – some of the people working on Mission Impossible 37 uh, weren't practicing <laughs> social guidelines. And the golden he, years. Yeah. He, uh, the he ghost bladder. And uh, you'll have to find it. Remember when Christian Bale flipped out on the guy in Terminator 18? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's the same kind of rant. And, man, it's, it's, it's interesting. But uh, I like the fact that he doesn't want it shut down, his passion for movies. Um, mm -hmm. so Russ but he's a gigantic guy. douche. I think he's a gigantic douche, but unlike Christian Bale, they caught him ranting and raving at his at his crew. But somehow people are like, I like him more than I did before. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's just what okay. he's saying. Basically, he catches some folks not following their COVID protocols Lose. on set and just loses his damn mind. Huh. You know, and it's just, it's a lot of cursing and things like that. But he talks about how he stays up at night because he knows that this film industry is in jeopardy of failing. And so many, everyone he knows will be out of a job, you know, families. And, and he just, and he gets fired up. He gets fired up. I have to check that out. I thought it was good. But anyway, I thought that was a funny story. I didn't know he cussed like that. I was like, yeah, go, go Tommy. Well, what what was his character in uh, Tropic Thunder? That's who it reminded me of. He's <laughs> going off. Uh, oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the manager. Tag, tag, tag. What was his name? Uh, oh, I don't know. I'd have to look it up. Tag, That's tag, it. tagman or something. Shit. I just, I just. Every time I hear that song, Apple Bottom Jeans, uh -huh. which, is on, which is on my uh, Pandora, it gets played all the time. I think about that movie. <laughs> no, Tug Tugman was was. The other guy. Uh, what was it? Pecker was. Pecker Tug was, Tugman was uh, was oh uh, Ben Stiller. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Tug uh, Speedman was Ben Stiller on there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Matthew McConaughey was Pecker. That's the only one I remember. Pecker. Yeah. He's, he's not up in here in the beginning. We'll find him here in a minute. You can't hide from us forever. But yeah, I, I love I, that. Just what a great film that is. But I think we've gotten totally. We've sidebar. Totally. Uh, Les Grossman. Yeah. <laughs> Les Grossman. That's who was screaming at these poor gappers. Yeah, yeah. He turned that's into fantastic. Les Grossman. Yeah. All right, so we're going to talk about Disney now? Yeah, so that's my last story. And basically, uh, it's the biggest story. So Disney just said, hey, Netflix, screw you. We've got Disney. Here's now. everything. Now, and I'm going to tell you, my year subscription came up at the beginning of December for Disney Plus, And yes. I was going... Do I do this? Because the Mandalorian's fantastic, but yep. Yep. there ain't shit else. And then they went. That's that's why they. He's nuts. Yeah. That's why they did it. My theory is 
we will never see half of these series. You think so? Yeah. So basically what they did is they said, because everyone jumped on it last year right when it came out so they could see what it was all about and see the Mandalorian and all that stuff. Yeah. And all this crazy stuff was going to be coming out on it, you know, that never came out on it. Yeah. You know, and so, um, so they threw out like, I, I just picture the guys in Elf, you know. Come on, guys, what do you got for me? What do you got? Uh, let's do one about oh, the a, sand that the people walk on. Yeah, he's got a tomato, but he's <laughs> really insecure about himself. So I think the Disney Dream Team, um, they're fun guys, just came up with a bunch of. Oh, we'll do a series on every character we've ever thought about putting in the Mandalorian. Because they yeah. announced like 17 Star Wars series. Do you got the Star Wars list there in front of you, Othi? I can't find it. I've got the Marvel. Okay, so it's, there's Star Wars Visions. Yeah. Andor, A-N-D-O-R. Um, Lando, mm-hmm. the, a droid story, which I don't think you could get much bo- more boring than a droid story, could you? I don't know. I love Dio. I don't know. And, and, I don't, and we don't know, are, are some of these... Um, animated are they half an hour long are they comedies you know okay and all the if any of the star wars nerds are listening to us we apologize uh ashoka ashoka Ashoka? we we think think that's we think that's that jedi lady that's right okay um how far are you in the mandalorian Othi? what just happened what what happened in the last episode so he took the he found the other three Mandalorian that weren't truly more. Okay. Katie okay. uh, Sackoff showed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, love they, her. He raided that that starship cruiser, but he took off to get the baby. And they were in the okay. water, water world area. All right, so I won't say what I was getting ready to say. Um, Obi Wan Kenobi series, and mm-hmm. that's a series or is that a TV show? That's I mean, a series. Yeah, movie. No, that's and a it's series. got Jude Law in it, right? No, McGregor. Uh, Jim McGregor. Sorry, 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 sorry. You see why I get those two mixed up, right? Well, no, I do see. Yeah. It's yeah. Not... Uh, Rangers of the New Republic, Rogue Squadron, Bad Batch, which I have no idea what that is, and Acolyte. But then they the, turned I around. Think, I think the Bad Batch was a group of bounty hunters that was in the third, oh. the, this last film. Okay. Gotcha. And just got beat up. Um. Well, Russ, going back to your idea where they're like, just the, the people spitballing. What Saturday, do you got? Saturday Night Live did a skit, and it's Bob Iger, and he's just like, greenlit. It's greenlit. Everything came in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what are these? They're greenlit. And they yeah. Should. Yeah. They also, you know, a new pre, a new trailer for uh, the Winter Soldier. Uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier came out. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else was there? WandaVision. Yeah. WandaVision, um, man, there's Loki, some, Loki. Yeah, I saw the trailer for that. Yeah, that looks Loki looks really good. Owen really Wilson. Good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Owen Wilson did it. Okay. So and so many movies they kind of we kind of knew a few, but they kind of went off and gave dates like the Eternals, um, the new uh, Captain America, or no, Shang Chi and the Legend of the Three Rings. I know nothing about that, but that's Shang Chi, right? Shang, yeah, Shang okay. Shang Chi. Uh, that's coming out this summer. The and what ifs car- cartoon what if. series. Mm-hmm. And talk about let's talk about Spider Man three for a minute. It's getting every actor that's ever been in the Spider Man movie into that movie. Like, that's yeah, quite uh, interesting. The multiverse. I don't know what that means, but it's like everyone is going to be at Kristen Dunst or whatever her name. Kristen, is. Kristen yeah, Kirsten huh, Dunst. Huh. I wonder. That's interesting. It's got. Um, they're bringing back the Vulture. Yeah. Michael Keaton. Um, Michael Keaton. Um, yeah, all of the. I mean, like everybody's been in any of them. Mm. Goblin. Be in the Willem, Dafoe, Dafoe. Willem Dafoe. Oh, I don't in. know about that. I don't know about that one. But I don't, what a fantastic idea at this time to bring all of them back into one movie. Yeah, if you've had all of those, you know, different iterations and then just say like yeah these were just, that was just a different universe yeah that was a different you know <laughs> I, I love it i think it's a genius idea at the right time to kind of kick that next phase of the of marvel off i'm i'm excited about it 
Yeah, William Defoe, he's going to be back in it. Green Goblin. Is he? Awesome, awesome. That I was thought, a, yeah. There's like everybody. Some other movies they announced. Blade, we knew about that, but the one that kind of surprised me is they're going to do a Fantastic Four. So yeah, gonna, like, in the Marvel, the new. Uh, it, it's got to be better than the other three pieces of shit we've seen. What, what, is, what is it about that particular franchise that it's so hard to make a good film? I don't know. Of course, none of them have been Marvel films. No. no. They've no, all no. been others. That's about, is that everything? I mean, that's a lot. I've got 22 releases here. Phase four and five. It's just, and it's all, as Kevin Feige said, it's all interconnected. So you do have to, and that's mm-hmm. the part. You have to tell all these other stories. Yep. Um, yeah. So lots of stuff happening there. I didn't realize, I honestly, I didn't pay attention to all that Star Wars stuff. I didn't realize a lot of Star Wars coming out too. Yeah. Talk about fun. I mean, you know, I, I watched Endgame again here during all this, and yep. it's like, I'm ready for more of that. So good. Well, I think that's that's good news we got all that. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Headed in the right direction. Disney Plus for three years and spent the money, I guess. Yeah. Because I was like, I like, after two months, I'm like, I'm never watching this again. There's nothing. Yep. And they managed to get in my wallet yet again. Yeah. No, that's what they did. They knew you guys were all coming up for renewal. Yeah. yeah, it was the end of year one. Time to sucker them back in. We yeah. got a bunch of stuff because half that stuff they said they were going to show you the first year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they didn't show you nothing. Well, I had to be. I got vetoed from the girls, so I was buying it regardless. <laughs> yeah, it's not like a capital investment here that we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. Is that it for the news tonight? I also thought you had something, maybe, or was that um, right into here? No, I think we. Yeah, no, I think we were tying tying into that. Yeah, because I was. I just wanted to talk about all the Star Wars crap. I was just like, whoa, whoa. Oh, but on the Warner Brothers thing, um, it's Wonder Woman. It's Dune. It's Dune. Yeah, Dune's coming. What else? I'm not gonna. Uh, you go watch the t- the Mortal Kombat. Uh, Godzilla versus Kong. Yeah, Godzilla and Kong, man. There's a couple more. I can't think though. Well, there was like there was like twelve or thirteen. Yeah. Or All right, so we will uh, see you next time uh, when we talk about some movies, some movie bag in it. Yeah, yeah. Or TV bag too. So, all right. Yeah, this, was, this was this, this was news, and then yeah. All right, it was the news, folks. <laughs>